All right. Nils Janssen's Storm. How has he managed to black two pro model skates? <laughs> Amazing. Good work. Business 101, Nils Janssen. Chapter 1. Two pro models are better than one. So get two. And that's what he's done. He's been like, yeah, skate the M12, but I also skate the fifth. And uh, seeing as I'm the best at races, uh, I think you should give me two. And they've gone, all right, yeah, you can have them. Jobs are good then, man, well done. Imagine trying that with other brands. Yeah, I'll skate the Colt, I'll skate the SL. I'll also skate the Shift. I'll have been nine to skate the Genesis. Can I have four, please? Nah, I'm not even gonna make you a pro. <laughs> I ain't messing razors. Anyway, back to the nils and the color scheme. Some people like it, some people don't. That's, that's, that don't like. that's just the way it goes. Some people have also said that it kind of looks like they maybe just grabbed whatever colours weren't really selling and cobbled them together to make two pro skates. And that's kind of why he got two, because they were just trying to get shift of all these weird colours. Meh, I don't reckon that's true. I reckon it's genuinely because he's absolutely boss that they've given him two. I assume though, at Rosie's, they have loads of data on what's popular, like what's the most popular colour of skate. And just generally, they, they must do like market research on what colours are trending and stuff like that. Assume that's what's going on, but you know, there's a different colour option, why not? Anyway, let's get into the comments. Straight in with Robbie Pitts, beacon of positivity. It's always great to have a Robbie Pitts comment. And he's gone. Holy cow, Nils. This is next level. You easily could have just taken the elevator. These eyes, and then five of the hearts with the diamonds shining bright. Elevators, nah. There is the most ricketyest rail I've ever seen. It's barely staying in the ground. I'm pretty sure health and safety would banish that thing should they be aware of it. That's what I'm skating, that's what I'm doing. Thanks for the elevator offer, but I'm taking the rail. Wild. Rashard Johnson, the Lord was on your side. Flame emoji. The blag was on his side when he got them two skates like. Oi Yandriel Severio, WTF. F F. What the fuck, fuck, fuck? Uh, no, nah, exactly that. Granite Hazelton. Oh wow. Free love hearts. Lots of love. Dad wheels. When you look up the definition of a pro in the dictionary, you see Nils's face. For the claps. It's true. Somebody said. What skates are they? <laughs> oh God. Description. Check the description. Wild guess. Fred Castro. Everything on point. Filming, skating, skate setup, colours, clothing, colour correction, editing, trick vocabulary, spot selection, and so on and so on. Perfect work, guys. Amazing! Exclamation mark. Hey, that's a good one. Sounds like all bases were well and truly covered. Was it all love? Was it all flames and everybody being positive and like, yeah, that's banging, man. Come on. Nah, of course not. Some person has said, Fruit boot is your night. Lol. Rollerblading died out years ago. Mmm, no. Died down? Yeah. Died out? Nah, it's not quite accurate. People are doing it now, so does that matter so much? Probably not. It would have been nice if it just continued to grow and participation went wild, but it didn't. But we're still here, and I think we're still enjoying it. At least the people who are taking part in it are. I'd hope. There is no progression with rollerblade. Every trick possible has already been done already. Already been done already. Come on. It's all old stale tricks just being done over and over and over again. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Loads of stuff to still be done. I've never seen anybody do this and I believe this is more than achievable. Full cab, fakie heel roll, to backslide, revert 270 out. That's definitely doable and I've never seen anybody do it. Has anybody done that? Let me know if they have, by the way. I'd love to see that. And there's all sorts of other stuff. Plus, doing it over and over again. Well, yeah. <laughs> hey, top soil, that's been done. What, a handful of times? Get rid of that. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that anymore. What are you talking about, man? Do it on something different. Different style, different people. Frontside's probably one of the, like, the original grinds, yeah? And he kicks off 
with a front side, which people are like, oh, whoa, that was absolutely awesome, man. One of the best. So there you go. There's an example of how you can take what is seemingly a very old trick, which must have been done by everybody, and make it new, make it exciting. You do it on something nutty. You do it with style. You bang it out like a champ for your opening clip. It's up to you to make them not stale. Like, I'm pretty sure there's loads of people making tricks not stale. It sounds like you've just given up, which is a little bit sad because there is loads of stuff still to be done. You want to see telling me you watched that and went, whoa, rollerblading's a bit stale, isn't it? Proper pongy. Whiff, man. Get that whiff away from me. How, how long's this Savannah been here? Yeah, it's gone off. Stale. Get rid of it, man. Pfft, stinks. What's the sell-by date on these top acids? Oh, God, it friggin' well off, man. Stale. Get, why, do, why do you do this? You knew that. You put that back in the cupboard. Mum, seriously, these back nougans went off like a couple of years ago. Why are they still in the cupboard? I actually think people might be using skates older than some tricks. Eh, whatever. Each to their own. I'm going to enjoy it. Let's give the thing a goosey gander and see what it's all about. Here we go. Right now, yes. Let's go. Get himself hyped. This is the one. Chicken healthy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jeez. Crank it out. That's a hammer. Landed that side nice as well. There's both the skates. Mushroom Blade just said that was already, that's on their board of top front sides of all time. That was nice as well. Toey off the bike. Throwing the skates around and they change. Oh, he's back for the free in the different skates. Oh, man, that's pretty hammy as well. Jeez. I've seen him skate this area a few times in his various videos of his. Oh, mate. Bonkers trick. They look nice there. I always thought the fifths look a bit too wide, but they look nice. Cruising over some shrubs. Yoik. Great technique. Oh, God. Front salves are definitely like a really good one for a curved rail. Oh, there you go. Letting you know there's a little bit of an awkward spot. Oh, freaking hell. Jeez, that was nutty. <laughs> so good, how he looks so comfortable in everything. Three great technique, style. Yoik. That was cool. Oh, he loves a fish, mate. How quick was that grab? Lining up for <laughs> so good how we ma like managed to take that corner. Look quite sharp as well. I love when people do that. Like land on like a small area. I have like a target. Mate, this looks massive. This is another hammer for sure. <laughs> Dropping into the Olympics. Freaking hell, man. Bonkers. Past, present, future. Janssen. Rosies. Oh, another angle. Jeez, man. No. Yeah. Could have taken the elevator. Nah. Going down there straight onto the, the track. Little B roll. I like a bit of B roll. Behind the scenes. Love all that kind of stuff. Man, fair few films on it. I believe the main filmer was his brother, which is sick. <laughs> no rollerblading sign. I'm not rollerblading, I'm dropping hammers. It's different. 
Hey. What a corker, man. Didn't even look like he was too out of breath on any of them, really. Wow. I hope this discussion has already kind of been put to bed, or people at least are tired of it. But where are the hammers? <laughs> Come on. But you know, yeah, it's all subjective, blah, blah, blah. So you can never really win. And what do you get out of it anyway? If you like, yeah, it's a fact. Hammers are still about and they're still being done. Or the opposite. No, nobody does hammers anymore. Okay. <laughs> Just doesn't even matter. Just if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. If you don't, whatever, unlucky. I enjoyed it. And I thought there were some hammers in there, so crack on, man. Ah, but we do get a couple of laughs out of it. Anyway, that was banging. It was definitely far from stale. It's not gone off. That was fresh, mate. That's like a farmer picking a carrot out the ground and giving it to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Knock the mud off it. Yeah, and the worm. But yeah, fresh, man. Whew. Fresh carrots. That's an orange from the tree and just squeezing the juice straight into your mouth, mate. Fresh. It's like one of those ice dips that Niels does sometimes, you know, dipping into the freezing cold water. Whoa. Fresh, mate. Not stale. Opposite. That's a brand new skin fade. Fresh, like, oh, sharp. That is brand new pair of socks, first day on. Fresh. Oh, I don't think you can beat that. No way. Oh, that feeling. Oof. Nils is absolutely brilliant, man. And he's been doing it for 20 years. 20 years of like refining and progression and pushing the limits. I recently watched his concerts edit from 2006 when he was a young kid. And man, that was wild. So good, just consistent. Nils is an incredible skater. And it's amazing that he's maintained that for 20 years. I'm always interested to see what he's been up to. I'm always interested to see the progression, the development, the evolution, which is something people say is missing from rollerblading. They say it hasn't evolved. Watch Nils' career, watch his evolution. How precise and refined his skating is now. Like hammers, but like, beautiful <laughs> it's like he almost removes like that element of it uh looking dangerous because he's so calm and collected or like the final product the final clip of him doing it is like what were you even bothered about that that was unreal i'm sure a couple of years ago he was talking about you know being a bit more sensible <laughs> It doesn't look like it. Maybe he's just being sensible in the fact that, you know, he is super healthy. He's got his own protein powder and super green, which I think is an amazing move as well. Maybe he's talking about that, like being more like mindful of exercise and stretches and all these kind of things. And maybe, maybe a bit more of a calculated risk, but he's got to such a point with his skill and proficiency that like, He's eradicated loads of the risks, so he can still do really dangerous stuff that is bonkers, but it's maybe not as like much of a risk as it used to be for him. And expanding on the protein powder and super greens comment, I really admire what he's created for himself. He's not just relying on roasties to pay him a professional wage and give him skates. He'll be using that skill to, you know, win competitions, which lots of other people do. But beyond that, he's used that interest in him and his personality and what he likes to develop the protein, to have the YouTube video, to bring in other sources of income, allow himself to remain dedicated to rollerblading by doing a few of these other things, like being really clever with it. It's a good example for what other rollerbladers can do. I know sometimes like, you know, they, people, some people just want to skate and that's fair enough. They might not feel comfortable being in front of the camera or talking about these other things. I wish more rollerbladers would take that dive. Take a risk and just see how it goes and it will get better. I want these people to stay in rollerblade. And if that means like another source of income, but still being there, still giving yourself enough time to do the rollerblade, get on it, man. I wish that some of the riders had managers. And I don't just mean like their team manager for whatever their sponsor is. Although maybe they could get involved as well. But a manager who's been like, oh, like, I've set you up with this studio. Do you want to just like talk about this or talk about that? Create a bit more interest in yourself. Are brands interested in that? Like sitting down with the riders and going like, let's have a crack at this, man. Let's like, I don't know, 
do a video about this, do a video about that. Anyway, back to Nils and the video. Loads of great skating. Precise, stylish, hammy, technical, and what everybody else was saying before as well. Like, the whole production of the video is great. His brother's on it, mate, with the cameras, like. That's a good duo, right? Like, if you've got a brother that can film you that well, phew, sorted. Well, I mean, as long as you can do the tricks as well. What a great piece. Quickly, though, 13 people gave it a thumb down. You're telling me you seen that last trick and went, nah. <laughs> You're just standing at the bottom of the rail like, bah. <laughs> Rubbish, mate. <laughs> what do you give a thumbs up to? Tough crowd, like. That bit where he did the back back top side and went through that over that like dip. You're there again. Mm-mm. Nope. Who are you? Julius Caesar. Nah. At present it's had 35k views. Get on over there, run those numbers up, support Nils and everything he does. Cause he's a he's an absolute credit to rollerblading man. What a champ. Spotty dog.